So, Samantha and I both grew up in South Florida, and part of the culture and lifestyle here is to always be out on the water, out on a boat, at the beach, and we're out there for eight, nine hours at a time with the sun beating on you. And the clothes that we had weren't really performance level, so we went to the store to find something that would suit our needs and keep mm -hmm. us dry. And we're standing there looking at each other going, there's no way we're buying anything in this store. We do not like it. It's overpriced. It's really bad. <laughs> Meanwhile, the men's section for the same thing was like a thousand options that were yeah. way cooler. And so we realized, no one here is catering to women. Why is that? I mean, do women not fish? So we went home that night, did a little bit of research, and it turns out that 27% of anglers in America are female. So that was the moment when we realized that there was a huge hole in the market and a need that needed to be fulfilled. And that's how Real Skipper was born. So we put a lot of detail in our designs focused on women. And so we think about patterns, we think about trends, colors, fit. It makes our hearts want to explode when we see people choosing us over other brands and, you know, getting excited um, about wearing our clothing. Every day there's like a new fire to put out. Yeah. Um, one day sales are coming in, one day it's off season and you have no cash flow mm -hmm. and you know being an entrepreneur is really being a firefighter and just constantly <laughs> putting out that day's fire. What makes it all worth it is building something that you love and watching it grow. Um, it's like your baby that you're nurturing and it was once just a thought in your imagination and then one day you're standing there in your stock room surrounded by clothes that you designed and you can walk into a store and see people excitedly looking through the rack and there's no feeling like that in the entire world.